Okay, hey friends, my name is Dennis here once again and today we are going to see how to compress files uh, to the best of the compression ratio using WinRAL and we are also going to see the difference between the two main compression formats, the zip format and the RAL format. So let's get started. I have here a folder and I have some folders here. I'm going to compress this folder named demo so i select the folder by okay i select the folder then i right click on it i get this menu here add to archive now winral has some tabs here but uh, most of your settings are going to be here in the general tab here and this is where we are going to concentrate mostly now if you want to get the best compression ratio, then you have to take time and understand the settings, especially here in the general settings tab here. That's where most of your settings are going to be. Literally, there is no best compression software, I should say, after trying out several of them. Your compression ratio or how best you can compress a file or a folder depends on which settings you choose in any compression software that you use. So the first thing here, uh, archive name, uh, let me just keep the name as the same. Then the uh, profiles, I want to create my own settings, so I won't use any profiles here. So the archive format, this is very, very important. This is very, very important. You have to consider the reason why you are compressing this file. You have to consider how much you want it to be compressed. Then you have to consider when are you going to decompress it or to unpack your archive. So we have three formats for this version of WinRAL that I'm using. We have RAL, we have RAL4, and we have ZIP. So RAL and RAL4 are almost similar. I won't go much into that. This is just a better version of this. Uh, so I'll concentrate mainly on the RAL format and the ZIP format. So when do we use each of these? Well... These are formats in which you want to put your archive. So if you choose RAL format, it has the best compression. It is going to compress your file uh, or folder very well to the best uh, compression ratio. It is going to compress it as good as you want, provided you have the right settings. But it has one disadvantage because uh, if you compress your file using this format, then in order to decompress or to unpack, that file or folder that you have compressed then you will need a similar software like winral or 7zip or winzip any other software to decompress you will need a software to decompress it in other words so if you are sending maybe a compressed folder or file through an email it is not recommended to use this format unless you are sure that the person you are sending to also has uh, uh, a software that can unpack it like the ones i've just talked about okay the zip format is used in case you're sending uh, an attachment a compressed attachment and you are not sure whether the person you are sending this attachment has a software to unpack it so the zip format is very popular uh, especially over the internet because Files in the zip format can be unpacked even without using any third-party uh, compression software. So make sure you choose between this format, the RAL format, and the zip format, depending on how you want your files to be unpacked. Okay, let's come to the compression method. Now there are several methods here of compression. The compression method is going to determine... Uh, how fast uh, and how good the compression is going to be so if you're not sure which one oops, if you're not sure which one to choose just leave that at normal but in case you want uh, to be compressed in the fastest way or if you're compressing just for storage purpose then you can choose whichever you want but for the best compression if you have time then choose the best okay so you can choose any here depending on how fast and how good you want your file to be compressed the dictionary size is very important because it is going to determine how fast uh, your uh, archive is going to be unpacked and also so the dictionary size is the 
the amount of memory that is going to be allocated uh, while compressing and decompressing the file. So for zip format, by default, the dictionary size is only 32 KB. You cannot change that. But for the RAR format, we have several dictionary sizes. So how do you choose the best dictionary size? Like I've said, this is the amount of RAM uh, or memory that is going to be required to compress and decompress a file. So if you are compressing this file and sending it to someone and you are you're not sure how much memory they have to support the decompression or the unpacking, then make sure you make it as small as possible maybe just leave it at 32 however the compression ratio is better if you make it larger so the larger the dictionary size the better the compression the smaller it is then your compression will not be good but you have to think about this that in terms of RAM, maybe you can compress this file and in future you would want to use them on a computer that has less ram and that's not going to work out for you well so it's better to choose an optimal dictionary size uh, but like i've said the, the higher the dictionary size the better the compression this is the amount of memory that is going to be required uh, in principle more memory is required for compression than unpacking but uh, still you have to be careful while choosing it because uh, you have to take into consideration the capacity of your computer and the computers of those whom you may share the archive with in case you are compressing a big file and you want to split uh, into certain volumes you can also check that out if you want to delete the original file after archiving you can check that if you want to create a self-extracting archive uh, i have a whole video about this i'll leave a link in the description it's very useful it's in fact an alternative to the zip if you're sending uh, an archive to someone and you're not sure whether they have a decompressing software or their software to unpack it then you can also use the sfx archive sfx archives are also useful in distributing software uh, so because they can extract and distribute the files to uh, predefined locations so uh, you can check out the video on that okay Create a solid archive. This is very important. If you want to create a very uh, compressed archive, if you want better compression, then you may want to check this. Now, one thing I didn't mention about this, the RAL uh, and zip format. For zip format, you cannot create a solid archive because zip format is meant to be a simpler way of compression. You can only do that with the RAR format. But there's another thing you have to take into consideration if in case you want to uh, you are going to update this archive soon enough then it's not recommended to use RAR, the RAR format because it is not it is not easier to update the archive it is going to be slower and so on so if you are going to update this archive oh, very often then you can use the zip so if you have the RAR format and you make it solid then it's going to compress slower uh, and also it's not going to be easy to update so if you're not going to update the file for some the, the archive then you yeah you may choose that format then uh, you may also want to uh, add the recovery record I'll cover that some other time and then you have some other options like setting the password in case you want to secure your archive and so on to be accessed with a password. So these settings just on the first tab, the general tab, are the most important ones for compression, uh, which format you use and how best you want the compression to be. Uh, I'll make some other video to cover the advanced settings and some few options. But these are basically not important in as far as, uh, in as much as compression is concerned. Uh, if you're done with the right settings, you can then hit OK and compress it. Now, that takes some time depending on the size of the file that you're compressing and also the speed of your processor. So I'm using a slower processor. I'll not compress this. But just for demonstration, I, I already compressed this. As you can see, the original was 
the original was uh, at one I think one GB one point one seven uh, one point one seven and then the compressed one is uh, oops, the compressed is I think eight hundred MB so I I didn't really take so much uh, of the compact settings but I just wanted to do it faster for the demonstration but you can compress it well way beyond and uh, for disclosure these are video files about 32 video files in this folder so it is not easier to compress some files than others so that could also affect your compression okay thank you for watching this video if you find it helpful give me a thumbs up uh, comment below if you have uh, questions and better options that we can use to compress the files uh, better settings also don't forget to subscribe uh, and Okay, I'll see you next time. Thank you.